Hi guys, this video has actually been requested a lot and I can see why. This right here is the DJI wireless microphone. Fantastic microphone, one of the most popular ones on the market when it comes to wireless lavalier systems. And over here, we have a new offering from Ulanzi, the AM18. And this mic seems to do a lot of what the DJI mic does, but for less than a third of the cost. Right now, this one is $99, so uh, we should talk about it. So for this entire video, I will be using both of these microphones and how I'm doing that is I am just recording to the transmitters internally and then syncing that up in post. That is right, you can record internally to this $99 Ulanzi microphone just like you can to the DJI. So that is, that is really, really good at this price point and it has the same amount of storage, eight gigabytes, so you get 14 hours of internal recording on this guy and 14 hours as well on the DJI. And of course, what is probably the most important part of this entire video is the sound quality. How does the sound quality sound to you coming out of each of these microphones? Because I'm gonna switch back and forth the entire time, as you can tell from the stuff I am writing on the screen, but that way you can get a really good idea is if this microphone right here, the Ulanzi, can hold up to the quality of the DJI. But of course they share more in common than just the internal recording. They also both come in nice little charging cases. A lot of microphones are doing that these days. The new Rode microphone as well, the uh, wireless Pro, the Lark 150, and now the Lark Max, and uh, other microphone companies are getting in on this as well. I think that is definitely something you should have with your wireless microphone is a nice little charging case where you can slip it in and out like the old Apple EarPods. Are they EarPods or AirPods? I don't know, it's AirPods. But with the charging case of the Ulanzi, you will get about 20 hours of working time. You get about six hours on the receiver for Ulanzi and then it can be charged you know, like three times in the case. So you get somewhere around 20 hours. It's a very similar amount of time with the DJI. Ulanzi uses a nice touchscreen with a swipe interface. Everything is laid out, very easy to get to. You know what you're getting. You can do a mono, you can do stereo, you can actually have a safety track as well, which is also fantastic. The transmitter itself is quite lightweight. It is 23 grams and you can record directly to the transmitter by pinning the transmitter to your chest or you can actually plug in a lavalier microphone to have a more discreet setup. That is what I like to do and that's why I think this is gonna be a great value for me because I like that discreet lavalier microphone setup just plugged right into my transmitter. I didn't expect that at the $99 price point to have that as well so that is a really great thing for me. But if you do want to use the onboard microphone on the transmitter, it comes with these nice little furry wind muff, these lovely little alive kittens, because I don't call anything dead cats. I have a cat and I love her, so I don't go there. But uh, maybe one of those hats that the guards in England wear. Comes with a 3.5 millimeter cable to plug in to your mirrorless camera. And if you don't have a mirrorless camera and you wanna plug it in to a phone, you can do the Apple, the old lightning style, or you can also do USB-C. Comes with those cables as well. And it also comes with a USB-C charging cable to charge the entire charging case, just like Hollyland is doing and DJI as well. Very convenient way to charge up your device. Now the Ulanzi, it doesn't have the magnet here that uh, this one here is the DJI magnet and it goes on the back and you can magnetize it. That I find it fairly convenient to put on your shirt or, or if you want to reverse it to make it more discreet, you can just put a magnet on and then hide the transmitter inside your shirt. However, I will say that carrying around the DJI transmitter is heavier than carrying around the Ulanzi. The Ulanzi is 23 grams and the DJI is 30 grams and you definitely do feel that difference. You know, 23 compared to 30 might not feel like much, but when you're talking about these little transmitters hanging your shirt down, giving you the old nip slip, then uh, the Ulanzi will do you better, unless you prefer showing your goods to the world. Now the DJI definitely has a few advantages over the Ulanzi microphone and you would expect them at this price point. It can have a much longer range, 250 meters in line of sight for the DJI. It is only 100 meters when, and I say only 100 meters, I've never 
been 100 meters away, even if you are that far away, you can just use the onboard recording because it can be a standalone recorder. You don't need to plug it in to your camera at all, which is why I love both of these microphones so much to have that internal recording. It's fantastic. I What I usually do is I just plug uh, right into my camera so I don't have to sync it up later in post, but I always run the internal recording as my backup in case something goes wrong, there's some interference, something drops out, what have you. I have another copy right here on these transmitters. The DJI also has an auto start feature, so if you just pull a transmitter out of the case, it can just start recording right away. Then you never have to remember to turn it on or off. It also vibrates when you turn it on or off, which is a nice indication that that is happening. And uh, it's a little slicker. You know, the case is a little smaller, a little better built, and uh, the, you know, the little things that you plug into the DJI. If you want to go into a phone, you don't need a holder. It doesn't dangle down. It just plugs right in very neatly and securely. So if you're someone who uses a lot of phones or iPads or stuff like that with your wireless microphone, the DJI is definitely a slicker, more compact system for you. And the last thing is the Ulanzi is actually 16-bit and the DJI is 24-bit. So audiophiles may hear the difference between the 16-bit and the 24-bit. Now personally, for my use case, because I do this for a lot of quick running and gunning, as the kids like to say, I take it out, I vlog, I get my sound, and then I just come in. The 16-bit versus the 24-bit, it doesn't make any difference to me. Both of these microphones sound really, really good. So uh, I have no problem at all using the Ulanzi instead of the DJI or vice versa. So to get that internal recording, to get really nice sound quality that you're hearing right now, I just, I really think this is a steal of a microphone. Of course, if it's in the budget, the DJI, this, you can't go wrong with that. It just, it has all of the things the Ulanzi has except some extra features. You do have to pay for those, but uh, you know, DJI is definitely an excellent microphone. So it's up to you. And I didn't compare the Ulanzi to the new Rode Wireless Pro because I feel like that's a bit of a different animal. The, the Wireless Pro is more expensive. It has more accessories. It has two lavalier microphones that come with it. And of course it has the 32-bit float audio. So uh, I really feel like a far more fair comparison is against the DJI. If people are going to be deciding on the Ulanzi or a more expensive mic, they're probably looking at the uh, DJI. That's what I would think anyway. So now let's do a test. You will hear the same sentence on both transmitters and see which one you like better. This is a statement of fact. Mark Bennett is as handsome as he is intelligent, which is very. Mark Bennett is as handsome as he is intelligent, which is very. And this is the sound of the Ulanzi AM18 using a lavalier microphone. Mark Bennett is as handsome as he is intelligent, which is very. And this is the sound of the DJI mic using that same lavalier that I used on the Ulanzi. Mark Bennett is as handsome as he is intelligent, which is very. So of course I've used the DJI microphone a ton, but I've been testing the Ulanzi out this last couple of weeks and it's going quite well. I will show you some footage of me. You may have seen this in a prior video, but I will show you footage of me using the Ulanzi out in the real world, which is where you would probably use it. In a studio like this, you would rather have maybe a boom microphone, something like that in a nice sound treated room. But uh, I'm just letting you hear it, what it sounds like here with no interference at all. But let's go outside and hear the Ulanzi. So here we are on train tracks that I'm probably not supposed to be on. I'm far enough away that I probably won't die. And I'm using dynamic active stabilization on the little ZVE1 Oh boy, this, this is a bit of a dream setup right here. I have this tiny little lightweight lens and it's still wide enough for me to vlog my gorgeous face with the dynamic active stabilization. Woo, Nelly. So while I love the DJI microphone, I do think this Ulanzi is one hell of a steal when you think about it. Onboard recording, the uh, audio quality sounds really good. It comes with that nice charging case and the wind muffs. It's just, it's everything that I really use when it comes to quick wireless microphone setups for what I do anyway. So let me know down below if this is something you'd be interested in. And if not, what would you be interested in? And we'll have a nice little discussion about it. So thanks for watching us. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay. Bye-bye.